Hey, what's up, everybody? Now, the WWE made a list of people to look forward to next year, although I kind of expanded it just a little bit. But going down the list, Damian Sandow is the first person to look forward to. You know, he's very entertaining. You know, um, he foreshadows the Miz. You know, if he still misses stunt double, then yeah, he's very entertaining, and you should look forward to him. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about Damian Sendell. Very entertaining. Um, some of these guys I'm not really familiar with, so sorry about that. Um, Alexa Bliss of NXT. Don't know much about her. You have to look at video videos of her, I guess. But they do need more divas in the divas uh, in the divas. Um, you know, what's it called? Division. Yeah, the divas division needs more divas. So she's good. She's woman champion material. That'd be great. Cause AJ's been out, so you know they do need more stars, I guess. Enzo Amore. Um. Another guy I'm not familiar with. He has a charismatic personality from NXT, you know. He has character. I'm not really... He's like a Jersey Shore type of guy. Kind of. A little bit of mix between Jersey Shore and whatnot. Um, but yeah, Enzo Amore. That's E-N-Z-O-A-M-O-R-E from NXT. I think he could be pretty good for in WWE. Better than Adam Rose, anyways. Um, Tyson Kidd. Who knows, they could have a Dolph Ziggler versus Tyson Kidd match, you know. Maybe Tyson Kidd will be Intercontinental Champion next year. Maybe they're finally going to use him instead of making him look like a workhorse, like CM Punk said. Tyson Kidd deserves a lot better, in my opinion. Um, Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy from NXT, a tag team. I think the WWE needs more tag teams. They kind of just mix the stuff together. Like Ryan Baxel, The Miz, Damian Sandow, you know. They have the Usos and their brothers, though, but like, you know. Um... I think a, a good tag team, you know, they, they kind of look like Chronic a little bit. But yeah, um, that's Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy from NXT. They need more tag teams, so yeah, I hope, I'm looking forward to them, and they're probably not bad wrestlers. Luke Harper, yeah, Luke Harper is good. Um, he's he's a he's now a former Intercontinental Champion, so you know, Luke Harper is actually impressive for his size. They don't realize how impressive he really is, you know, until you watch him wrestle. He's a big, big dude who can do some pretty athletic things. Just no Mike skills. It's kind of weird. He's kind of weird. The Vandeville, the Vandevillains, I believe, from NXT. Another tag team. Another tag team would be good, you know. Like I said, they need more tag teams. I don't know much about these guys. All I know is are from NXT, and they might be good for business. Wade Barrett. Man, he gets injured a lot. Um... He's good. He's always been good. Some people say he's a work on his in rain work, but you know, he if he doesn't get injured, he'll be good for next year. But it's kinda hard to trust someone like him, you know. He's inner kind of champion, gets his shoulder injured. Got injured a few years ago. He's injury prone, I guess. Um Sting, yeah, Sting's making five appearances. Look forward to that. Um possibly doing Sting versus Triple H. I think people are kinda tired of Sting the Sting versus the Undertaker idea. It might happen one day, but I don't know. Sting versus Triple H is all right. I can see it being a good match. Two of the same kind of people, really. Same egos. Well, maybe not. Renee Young. Eh. Yeah, why not? Another diva. They need more divas in the divas position. In the divas division, I'm always saying position. Divas division. So Renee Young. Yeah, she'll be good. Charlotte Flair. She's impressive for Ric Flair's daughter. You know, I saw her wrestle. Um, who who did she wrestle on Raw? Um, Natalia. I, I believe it was Natalia. <coughs> but yeah, um, Charlotte Flair is impressive. She's doing it for herself, not for her father, which is good. Um, Belair, that's a weird gimmick. You know, they need, he's like the boogeyman, kind of. Don't know much about Finn Belair. That's F-I-N-N-B-A-L-O-R. Um, all right. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns might become champion next year, you know. Unless Seth Rollins cashes in on him and he won't be champion for long, but Roman Reigns is going to be the next megastar, probably. They're very high on him, so why not? Kevin Owens, Triple H had signed him, well, NXT signed him. Kevin Owens could be a big star, you know. He might even be a world champion one day, if he's really, really good. Like, don't knock it till you try it. But Kevin Owens, I guess good luck to him, I guess. He might be a very, very big. And Dolph Ziggler is looked forward to. Dolph Ziggler is a very talented wrestler, very underrated. They make him Intercontinental Champion, make him the World Champion, and drop the ball on him because he gets a concussion. But Dolph Ziggler, you know, I see a high future in it with him. You know, he um, 
I think he'll become a world champion again very soon if they want to make it like that, you know. And there's one person they left out, and that's Zami Zayn. Sami Zayn's very talented. Someone to look forward to. I don't know when he'll debut in the WWE. He had a match, an NXT match on Raw, but that doesn't really count, in my opinion. But yeah, Sami Zayn, look forward to him, too. And these are wrestlers to look forward to next year, you know? Give me your thoughts. And I guess 2015 might be a good year in wrestling. Or it could be a disappointment. But that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Have a nice day, and bye.